When we're talking about the volume of a pyramid, that is, the space that's enclosed by the three-dimensional figure of a pyramid, we can compare it to a rectangular prism that has the same height and the same base. But notice in a pyramid, we only have one polygon that's a base. We said that the volume of a rectangular prism is going to equal the base area times the height. So I'm going to label the height, capital H, as the height of your solid. The reason why I'd use a capital H here is because if you had a trapezoid for a base, you're going to have a lowercase h because that trapezoid will have its own height plus you'll have the height of your solid. So the relationship between the volume of a rectangular prism and a pyramid where they have the same height is that this volume will be one-third the volume of this rectangular prism. Very similar to the relationship of cones and cylinders. So if you have a pyramid or a cone, you're going to have one-third base area times height. Now the difference between a cone and a pyramid is that with a cone, we could say this base area will always be pi r squared. However, in calculating the volume of a pyramid, you have to ask yourself what type of polygon is the base. So if you had a, rect a regular hexagon, for this base area, you're going to say one-third apothem times side length times the number of sides divided by two times your height. So you have to be careful about what you use for your base area formula. 